Right now, loyal Republicans are in Rochester for their state convention. GOP candidates for races up and down the ballot are seeking their endorsement. Caroline Cummings explains what the party endorsement means ahead of November's election. More than 2,000 of the GOP party faithful gathered in Rochester. The governor's race is very important, but also will take the most time. Their task, endorsing candidates for governor, state auditor, attorney general, and secretary of state. The backdrop, the party is hoping to break a 16-year losing streak for statewide office. Uh, God willing, we'll win this November. Republicans see this year with rising inflation, crime, and a Democratic president with low approval ratings as an opportunity. The two-day convention began Friday morning. Before the endorsing began, a contentious debate over electronic voting versus paper ballots. Some arguing that the electronic voting wasn't secure enough. If we want to be the party of election integrity at the general, we've got to be the party of election integrity at, at today. This is something that we can do so that we can get the work done. Ultimately, the electronic voting system won out, and this is how delegates are voting, speeding up the process. I am seeking your endorsement for state auditor because the office is vital to our comeback story. Candidates speak directly to delegates seeking their support. Well, it starts today with you, the delegates. Then the delegates vote for their pick. Candidates need 60% to be endorsed. As for the top of the ticket, the governor's race, that's last in the lineup here, and there are several candidates vying for that coveted endorsement. Why it matters, every candidate the GOP has endorsed at the convention has gone on to be the gubernatorial Republican nominee since 1994. In Rochester, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. We, of course, will continue to follow the GOP endorsements and post them on our website, WCCO.com.